if you have some questions. Uh, I definitely have. I already prepared several questions. Yeah. Uh, other people, uh, they can easily join um, with their questions or they can think about while I'm asking. But yeah, okay, I will begin. Uh, that, that, that's funny that you uh, started and your first uh, uh, philosophy option that like everybody do everything. Uh, it uh, cooperates with my first question. Actually, my first question was in Team Novisat, yeah. Uh, now we see the answer that, yeah, everybody can do everything. Uh, but uh, can you tell us a bit more about what are the specializations of yeah. all the first? This, everybody do everything. That is not good for top level. That is in, uh, in training process, process it's good to everybody do everything but when you have a team where everybody knows where are they strong and where are they weak you will do in 90 percent for example you know who is Tom Iwasha Tom Iwasha is a guy who will in 90 percent will make the screens Dusan Bulut in 90 percent will be the guy with a ball ball handler and trying to find a way to pass to Toma or uh, don't don't uh, understand me wrong in professional tricks three you have to be specialized to do what you do good don't create something that you don't know and if you are a small guy if you are coming to this uh, to the make pick and roll that just can be mass that's not a real, real, real block. That is not a real, uh, real strategy what you do. But I, I really think, and I think that that is good, that everybody do everything in training process, especially with the young players, especially with uh, that kind of uh, tricks, three, what we are playing sometimes light, when everybody do everything. And when we are playing strong, how we call it, that is specialized. We don't, don't imagine something that you don't know to do. I hope that you understand. One more thing is Novi Sad is one of the best teams in the world because they exactly know what they know to do. Dan Maestorovic doesn't know to dribble the ball. He don't try, he, he doesn't try to dribble a lot of one, two, three dribble, pass. He's the best in the moving without the ball. Okay, thanks. Yeah, uh, Pedro has a question. Yeah, um, hello. Um, hi to everybody from Puerto Rico. Um, hope everybody uh, is doing okay. Uh, quick question. Um, how do you, um, obviously you already have uh, your team um, selected and, and you've been together for, for many times, but what is the, and I don't know if it goes with the, with the, with the team uh, that we're discussing, but uh, it, we're building thing of it. How do I um, select um, or what kind of characteristics do I am um, looking for to make my team, that, to make my team, uh, especially on three on three. Hopefully I, I don't um, get got out of the, of, the, of the conversation or team. So I don't want to. So. Yeah, I understand your question. Thank you. First, there has to be they have to be a good athlete. Yeah. That means they have, it's the best way to have two meters to be strong, to know, uh, to can guard inside and outside the paint. Okay, that is the best. It's, it's hard to find those players to, to, know, to, to know to do everything. But if, like Disco Domo from New York Harlem, he's a very small guy, you have to have something a very, very, very extraordinary good. He's very good in one-on-one -on -one game. He's a very good shooter. He make a, a big advantage in that part. And sometimes he will. We, we, we like to we like to count. If you are small guy inside the paint, big guy score you against you five times. But you score four two-point shots. That is eight points. You are better than that. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's very important to have good athletes. If you don't have a good athletes, 
if uh, if he is if he's a big very big guy he he has to create a, a, a so many easy baskets if he's a big guy uh-huh. and that is it's always like this it's always like this you can uh, make a team with a four shooters like riga from uh, from uh, latvia they're mm-hmm. just shooting they're very good shooters they are very fast they are shooters and they are in this moment the second the second uh, uh team in the world so it depends of the players uh where you can choose yeah and spe- you spe- have uh, big guys it's better but it's a, about philosophy also it's a new you have yeah. three different teams in in uh, in top 3 it's a riga small shooters all the time shooters you have liman everybody every, every of them are big every and you have no no sad now with the toma we are big but dushan bulut is not a big guy he is 190 90, 90 cm so but he do a lot of other good things so that's the reason why sometimes when he get a easy basket against them it's not it doesn't matter it's normal Okay. Thank you. Nothing. But just one more thing. It's mathematic. Two point in in basketball you have two and three points. Here you have one and two. So that means if you score two threes four uh, four six in basketball and here is two four what is double. So if you have a good shooters today on in the top level everybody shooting and trying to shoot more for two point than in one point uh my philosophy is not always like that i think that you have to have another option inside to score easy easy basket but today everybody is shooting so because of that math mathematic it is easy mm-hmm. thank you okay there is a uh, one more question in the chat uh by uh Denis Spiridonov uh from Ukraine uh how many set plays uh your team use in a game how many uh-huh, how many it's one first it's one interesting story during the years from 2014 until 2017 we didn't have uh, that kind of actions set sets just to like what is the word to create it's it's like programming no we just go inside and they know if the ball goes there you can go on one or another side if he goes on one side we will do that if he go on another side they will do that so it's about those principles they go aha uh-huh, go there inside uh, tomai washev it's uh, inside the paint okay we will pass down and try to cooperate with the players and then pick her up the last this last year we uh, we tried to put some setup set sets of the game but that is the interesting story because they didn't have the actions we didn't have they know each other very good and that's the reason why they want okay thanks uh one more question uh continue to uh discussing everybody does everything and roles and specializations um we all know that uh most of the time uh three players of novisad are fixed players who played the most tournaments uh Sven Mastorovic, uh, Dusan Bulut and uh, Marko Savić uh but there is a swap here and there between Marko Zdero and Tomo Ivošev how the offensive philosophy changes when these two players uh swapping like when uh Zdero is there or when Tomo Ivošev is there honestly a lot how first uh tomai washev uh, gave the team 
uh, another dimension. We we now we have we can score inside the paint easily. Every mismatch he will score. Jdero was completely different player. He was good in the defense, but in, in the offense, he was waiting to punish if somebody helps from him. Uh, with Toma, strategy completely changed. Uh, Dusan Bulut and Toma Ivošev playing pick and rolls, or Marko Savic and Toma Ivošev playing the pick and roll mostly. Uh, we had we had a problem. Even there, no, he said we had a problem because they pass to to Dusan and immediately go to the pick and roll. And what I what I said here. We want to include all the players to to be in the contact with the ball and then try to play, try to play pick and roll. Now strategy is everybody can see it. It's a pick and roll. But what I think what we have to improve is that to try to include all the players on the on the court and then find solution to play that pick and pick and roll or pick, or pick and pot with with the, with the Toma. I think that Dan Majstorovic is one of the best players without the ball. And if you uh, play only pick and roll immediately, you don't let him to try to make easy opportunity to score. So it's changed Lo logically. It's very good because Tomo Iwashev is one of the best players in the year in the world. It's better. Team is much better. But uh, I think that even that they have a very strong cooperation, Dusan and Toma, this is also should be included more, more. To one, one pass, if Toma pass, switch side, one flare block, nothing happened, and then Toma come to pick. That is the way how I think it will be much better. Because we had a lot of problems last year. It was not the, the, the season from the dreams like uh, season before. Okay, thanks. Great. Uh, next one have, is once again... I have one, uh, I have one question. So, uh, thank you, coach. Uh, we are... Um, the periphery is trying to clear the ball uh, by pass. But uh, what is the situation? If deny the pass, somebody deny the pass, and that um, guy who has the ball um, has to try to dribble, try to clear the ball. What is the situation? What is the best situation? Um, with your philosophy, uh, you think we must go for, for example, try to um, dribble, dribbling the ball outside and try to making uh, some screen away or trying to go for handoff to be more dangerous. What is the situation? What's your philosophy about that? Uh, my philosophy is if you have to go with a dribble, it's okay. Just try to not be in the corner. When you clear the ball, it's not mistake to make uh, a hands off whatever. Why? I, I forgot to say because for me is in the offense, basic is running. So all the time you have to run. That means, like you said, is it mistake if he clears the ball and just do hands off? No. If he after that run and make screen or receive the screen, it's not mistake. But if he stop, that is mistake. In tricks three, if you stop. You, you are you you are you are dead. You are nothing. We are then in that situation. We will we are coming to this. Just play one on one. No, it's not mistake. Clear the ball. Okay, seven seconds. Okay, we have time for one cooperation. Just run and make situation for some easy basket. Nothing happened. Then play one on one. So there are no mistakes. For me, the biggest mistake, if you are not running, and of course, at the end, if you are not on the, uh, uh, on the offensive rebound, just run in defense. We are not talking about defense, but in defense, it's fight. 
uh, if you if you ask me uh, three years before, I will just say fight. But now I think the right word is smart fight. Be smart fight because rule will change. They will clear the the game. For me, I think that they should clear the game because if you just fight, you are not uh, you are not. Uh, it's not value if you have skills. Fighting is not skills. So. Smart fight in defense, running in the offense, and mistake. No, there is no mistake. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, another one from another part of the world, from New Zealand, in the chat from Coach Pete. Um, Danilo, how do you coach a national team when not everyone knows everyone very well and limited preparation time? We all know that the national team mostly consists of novice players, but there were additions like uh, uh, Stojacic once, uh, I remember, or... Uh, mm, yeah, Danilo uh, Vyatovic also played. Uh, yeah. Okay, and Vasic. Uh, Vasic, yeah. My experience is that if you have three players from one team and just add him one player, it's not uh, a big... It's not tough to, co to make a team, but 2-2, two, two, it's, it's much, 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 much harder. So we had Stefan Stojacic, we, we won that championship, but we didn't play the best games. Uh, if you watch all of those games, uh, we didn't have any action. Uh, in that situation, Stefan comes from another team uh, who has a very strong system. Liman has very strong system. I think very good system, but we don't have that kind of system. Like you, like you see, it's it's like a flow. It's how you feel. Uh, if you want to play like that, how you feel, you have to have players who can who can do that. But we had. Are problems, but it was just one player. The crucial moment, you can hide him if he doesn't feel good. But Stefan played very good. Also with Danilo Mijatovic, uh, he's another player, but he's a kind of player like Tomaj Washer. So uh, it was easy. He has five or six easy baskets, easy scores. And that, that is the thing what he needs to do. And he did that. In crucial moments, usually play those three players. Uh, for the end, for me, three players plus one from another team, it's not a big problem. Two players from two another team, it's a problem. It's a bigger problem. I think Jonathan has a question. Yes, yeah, sir. I have a question about your, your practice. Um, how much time do you spend working in each concept? Or there are some concepts that you use that you spend more time doing, like uh, two without the ball or two with the ball. How do you measure that? Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's completely different stories uh, coaching Novisat and coaching national team under 23, under 18, or some new team. Why? Those players know each other very, very good. So about 70% of our practices, we practice individually. We are improving our individual skills, strange and conditioning and technical things. And we just play 3x3. And some of players feel, oh, look at this. I think that this can be good. We try that. We will try that. So it's completely different. Here and with no sad cooperation with only three and four. We practice and okay, we play one on one when we have that practice. And but those three and four we play. It's very easy, e easy exercise and it's basic. You have coach, two players. This is the basic. Here is the coach, one player, two player. Pass to the coach, make cooperations between two players. Without the ball, when they get the ball, they have to cooperate between themselves, and that's it. 
if you want to change the exercise, just change the starting position. Here is two, not here. Here is okay, not here. I will give him the corner. Just change the position. And that is the basic exercise what we do. With young team, national team, young teams, we practice everything. Believe me, everything, because they don't know those things. They don't know to fight for the position, to clear the ball with the pass. It's easy to say clear the ball with the pass, but if you have a strong defense, it's very hard. You have to know how to guard the player, where to pass. Is it here or to, to the floor? We pass everything. Um, I will give you, for example, we had 10 days for under 23 national team. We made the plan, okay, we have to pass all of this, and this practice this, the next practice this, and something like it's on you. It depends how many days do you have. So it's completely different stories. Thank you. Great. Uh, in addition to this question, very interesting question. Uh, uh, last time, on our last live, uh, Milan Sakov told that uh, they never, almost never, practice three on nothing or two on nothing stress or without a defense. Uh, how do you uh, see that? Do you have drills without defense? Because now you drill that, like coach with, and two players and then interact. With Norisad, no. no. They just play two against two or two against one handicap situation or three against three. Or, they just play. They don't need to go in some motion cause they, they, uh, when they know everything. But with the young, yes, we have players with three against zero. We just just do... Uh, when I say uh, young, also for, for beginners, those, this player who is a very good basketball player has 30 years, but he don't feel the motion. So we do three against Nura, uh, three against zero, just to try. Novisa, Liman, I think every team don't need to do that kind of, of practice without defense. Okay, thanks. Uh, the last one for me is uh, just uh, a bit of interest about Novisad and next season. I hope the next season will be <laughs> fine without any uh, viruses or <laughs> anything from out of this world. Um, uh, now, with when Marco Jdero officially uh, stopped his career, uh, let's say you have uh, four players in the roster, do you have any plans to add, let's say, Two, two more players, one more player, to, because I, I think it's pretty hard to play with four the whole season. Yes. First thing is about Novi Sad. Probably, as you know, we started the uh, academy, Serbian 3 3 Academy. So uh, I'm not in that, um, like the other years, I'm not in that. Uh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm coaching Team Noisad, but now on, not on that way. I will not travel with them anymore. I will not coach them anymore as a that kind of head coach because we're starting this. And my another goal, my another dream is to, in the future, in the next five or ten, ten years, find another players, create another team. So we practice now individually. Every, like I said, 70% of our practices was like that. But I will not be that kind of part of that team. But I know the situation here is about the players. Uh, they don't know which player will play because it's a lot of things. Uh, five on five. When I say five on five, a lot of players waiting for uh, contracts. Corona and... Okay, the quality of the players. The good thing for Novis, the good thing for Novisad is that they are Novisad, and if you call some player, definitely it's a big thing. But it's very hard for for every team here, as you know. Liman took a Chinese guy. He's not bad, but they could find better players. But it's in that period of the year, it's fine because this player waiting for some contract. So that is what I, what I told you in the beginning. It's always fight for something. 
For me, that is fine. Trying to find solution to find some good player. Trying to find solution to get player from 5-5 five, five just to fill 3x3. Because I know when some player fill 3x3, he will stay there. So that is the future of Novi Sad. It's like that. They have four players. Definitely they will find some five player, but for now they don't know. Even I don't know, we have a lot of people here. Just tell me, do you have some uh, information about next season? Because we don't have it here. Maybe the season will not start this year. That is also an option. Well, what I hear last uh, FIBA announced, I think that uh, the probability to play three or four tournaments, master tournaments, is still high. Uh, end of this year, like yeah. October, November, December, but it's still not 100%. Uh, yes, anyway. yes, yes. Okay, I thanks. And, no uh, yeah. <laughs> I want the last thing. Uh, uh, please tell us a bit about the academy. It's a big thing, it's just started. Um, so just let us know. You work with great guys there. Yeah, we create academy with Nebo Shaboshkovic. He's still playing for Zemun, but he's a coach of women national team, Marko Derov, who finished his career, you know who is him, he started to be a coach, and me, and one guy who, who will do stage and conditioning. Why we create them? That because, like I told you, this was like a dream, those, those five years with Team Novi Sad, but it's almost at the end. Uh, so for me and other two guys is to try to put everything what we know. I don't, I don't say and I don't think that if I was the part of the best uh, team in the history that I'm the best coach in the history. I'm young, I'm five years younger than them. All the time I wanted to travel and learn from them and to give them what can I to give them. And to try, this is another story for me, to try to implement to some other players, to implement some other teams. And that is also part of the, the academy. One way is to education of the coaches. One way is to education of the players. Education of the players means individually, to individual skills, and also to, to find some team to give them some, uh, some new knowledge. Uh, we are trying to find, uh, to, to make a global story, to try to connect people all around the world, to, to go all around the world, to give our, our knowledge, but Corona now, uh, everything changed. So we are focused for, from, for this year, only for Serbia. So I hope that next year will be global and I hope that we will, we will cooperate, not, not just me and coaches, also you and your, your, Instagram platform because it's very good. So that is basically what we will try to do. That sounds amazing. Okay, guys, does anyone have any questions more? I think it's that's it. Yeah, that's very comprehensive. Okay, then I will thank you very much, Daniel. It was a great talk, great insights, like Pete just texted there. Yeah, thank you, Coach, for sharing great insights into a successful team. But yeah, we were very happy to have you here. I wish you a great success. It's very interesting now when you say about your dream to build a new team. Me personally, I will be waiting for this new team to appear on the 3x3 horizon. And I wish you a big luck uh, about the academy. It's also one of my personal dreams as well to once open a real academy, not online academy, and I'm pretty sure we'll collaborate more on all the coaches. I think I know that you, Daniel, you really travel around the world. I hear a lot of great words from all over the world, from South America. Uh, the guys love you there very much. Um, so yeah, we all wish that the situation with the virus will Ease a bit, and we will be back to our favorite sport once again. So, I wish all of you and Danilo 
Uh, good evening today. Uh, for those from Argentina, Brazil, and all other countries, they have the whole day, I think, in advance. <laughs> yeah, Puerto Rico, and uh, but we are, yeah, close to the evening. It's not Friday evening, so <laughs> we are not far yeah, enough. Yeah, but still, okay, thanks a lot. I was very happy to see you all at here. The end. For the end, I just want to say, everybody, Yes, Thanks sir. because you you were here with me, listen to me, and also I want to say that whatever you need, we are a small family. Even it's a whole world, we are a small family. Uh, there there are no too many coaches, and it will be uh, jobs for everybody. So I I wanted to to speak with the people to to get another knowledge for me. Like I said, I'm not the best. Really, I think that not the best. I need to learn also. But I want to speak and don't be shy to send me the, 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 the message, whatever you need to communicate, to improving ourselves. So, because I really think we are still small family and we can be together to growing together. So thank you one more time. Hope see you soon. Yeah, those are great words. I really feel it as a family as well. And yeah, as Daniel will say, yeah, please send him a question, uh, questions personally. We will run the Q&A session later when uh, the recording will be posted uh, on my Instagram as well. So once again, uh, thank you all. Enjoy your time. And see you next time, I hope. You. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Hasta luego.